So we did. And we put together a deal that had Georgia Power own the asset. There was a power purchase agreement that we're not going to get the asset. But um, uh, it had loaned the asset in the 20 years. It had us put together the bond money, which was much less expensive bond money. It had us put in dual access traffic. And the difference between the yield of what was in social circle and what we were proposing was dramatic. When you couple inexpensive money, money 4% or 3.5% money, dual access were raised. And you located it close to a power station, like Brown County, which all the branches were being shut down. There's a lot of good infrastructure there. So myself and my colleagues arranged to get a $320 million bond deal done through an investment bank in us. We put 2,200 acres of land under contract, put a bow tie around it, thought we'd really done well. Walked in there and handed it to George Power. I don't think anybody had ever called their hand. I think they did manage it. 30, 45 days go back, finally they come back, and I heard four different reasons why they didn't want to do it. But the one thing I kept consistently hearing was no, we don't want it. I said, in other words, here we're, we're, we're delivering an asset to you that performs, it's the least, it's the most productive, least costly per kilowatt hour, is that the last point? Kilowatt hour is really the key. The cost per kilowatt hour was the least that they'd ever seen. They would pay it off in 20 years, and then there wouldn't be anything other than the cost of operation and maintenance, which is really some cheap electricity. Very cheap electricity. It's not as cheap as they, as they claim with nuclear energy, but half a cent, but it's pretty cheap, it's pretty close. And I said, You've got all this cheap energy to blend back into the rain. I mean, think how much, how happy the rain pairs are going to be. And the answer was still no. It became obvious to me that some people weren't keeping the rules. They said they were going to do work in the best interest of the ratepayers, and they did. And not long after that, um, Germany um, did something pretty interesting that I felt was important with us land on the moon. They had invested heavily with Blue Feet in there to build a really robust system. And they managed for a few hours on one Saturday to yield about 50% of the national demand from solar. That was spectacular. That was, you know, you could, and all we could do was stand and applaud those guys because they, they own a financial hangover. And the, the next thing they said is it also came out, oh, by the way, we're breaking all our utility companies because of the way we're installing stuff and the, and the way we chose the distributed generation system to install it. And that wasn't good to me that they were breaking. But the fact that it was 